Yeah, well, now Montgomery Sheriff Derek Cunningham is in the studio to talk a little bit more about this very important issue. Funny story now, but with a good lesson. 21 years ago, I had a baby, not even a year old, got a hold of a cell phone, accidentally <laughs> dialed 911. Of course, we had no idea until the officer showed up at the front door to make sure everything was okay. But that was a really great learning point, a great jumping off point for us to say, okay, maybe we actually do need to start talking to our kids a little bit more about about 911 and the appropriate times to call. What are some of the things we should be saying and how early should we be saying them? Well, you, you notice now just about every parent buys their kid a phone, a cell phone. Uh, you see kids as, as young as four and five with a cell phone. And you, you see them a lot of times, they give them their cell phone to play on their phone just to keep them preoccupied. And if your child can play on your cell phone, open up apps, you need to be teaching your child how to dial 911 and how to report something uh, as serious as if mama's not talking, daddy's not moving, I need help. Or You need to really start teaching your kids at an early age. If you can give it to them to play on, you can give it to them to learn on. Yeah, you're saying that really yeah. almost no age is, <laughs> is too young. And they do know these days, it seems like younger and younger, right? They're ma maneuvering through these devices better than we are. What are some things we should be saying, though, to help them understand, mm. especially in those toddler years, mm. when it is a real emergency? Well, you need to teach your, your child at stranger danger. And now you need to add that stranger danger with your cell phone. If you feel threatened, if you need help, dial 911. Uh, you need to start letting your child know that if, if you can't find mommy or daddy, dial 911. You know, Law enforcement shouldn't be that, that person that we scare our kids with. If you're bad, we're going to dial and call the police. We need to let our kids know when you dial 911, they're here to help. And that's what we want to do, we in law enforcement. We tell all of our people, uh, when you go out and you're talking to a kid, let that kid know that you're the friendly person. You're the person that you need to call. Look for that person in that uniform, and we're going to be the person that's going to come and come to your rescue if you need help. You're so here. you really got to do it. Yes. You're here to support us. We saw in that in that video uh, parents talking and thinking about things like ring cameras or other options where children can get in touch with their parents quickly and easily. My youngest has a gizmo watch that can only call the people who are in loaded into yep. that watch. How important is something like that? Or is that something that parents should be thinking about a little more? if those children do find themselves in a situation where they have questions. They need to teach them about the emergency button on their alarm system. They need to let them know about the ring doorbell camera. If you push it, mommy or daddy can see it on their phone. Because how many parents now uh, pick up the phone and say, I see you. You know, <laughs> they know they can, you can see them on that telephone, on that uh, ring doorbell camera. So why not let them know if you push that button, uh, mommy or daddy are gonna be able to look at you and I can see you and I'll talk to you. So. You're never too young to start educating your kids. With that being said, you're never too old to start educating them because how many people know that today you can send a text message to 911? A lot of times if you got an intruder, you can't even talk, but you can send a text message. And these are the things that we need to be educating our kids on. And not only our kids, but adults as well, because you may be put into a situation where you can't talk and you don't want nobody to know that you're hiding in a closet and you can just text. But you can send that information to 911 now because we have changed our peace apps and we are doing everything with technology now. So that same text message you can send everywhere else. And if you take a picture of a stranger coming in your house, you can send that photograph as well as a text message to us at 911. And we know what's going on before we get there. It's so important. There's really two sides of this cell phone conversation, right? We talk so much about the dangers yeah. of cell phones, but really they do play a vital role and they can be life-saving devices. Well, we hear about it all the time, us in law enforcement, where a young child calls 911 uh, because their parents not breathing or their parents need help, and then we get there and the EMS get there, and the reason why their parents are alive today is because that child dialed 911 because they couldn't get their parents to talk and they didn't understand what was going on. So we need to start educating our kids at an early age about the importance of 911 or about the importance of calling a law enforcement officer if you need help. We don't want this uniform to be painted as the bad guy. We want this uniform to be painted as the good guy. And if you need assistance, call that person in that uniform and we're going to come. Such important conversations. Yeah. Thank you for having this important conversation with us. As always, good to see you, but thank you for the work that you're doing to support us and to keep us safe in this community. Anytime, Beth. We always appreciate it.